let me tell you, my friend, if you don't come to this special, special place now that you have the chance to it, believe me, you'll regret this the rest of your life. Here, this place changed you. It will change you. Everybody's friendly, willing to help. You get to learn French in a beautiful place, lots of fun activities. It's really the magic of this island that really does it for the kids. Canoe Island French Camp is like any other summer camp you might be looking at, only instead of being a sailing camp or a horseback riding camp, we're a French language camp. It's not like that's all you're doing. It's just, you know, it's just sort of an integrated part of it. So you're, you're learning French while you're, you know, having fun doing other stuff. And the French classes are always fun because they make up games and things for you to do. Actually, the best way to teach, I think, French is to have fun. Because when you have fun, you want to do it again. We get up, there's first bell, and then, you know, we sort of doze until second bell, and then we get up and we go, and we see the flag, and we sing the anthem, and we put up, the, we put up an American flag and a French flag, and then a flag from uh, another country. We sort of alternate them, because there tends to be people, you know, like Spanish, Spanish flag or whatever. Then breakfast is at 8.30, and then we have, we go back and we clean our teepees for a while, have French class, and then have our morning activity. And then our morning activities, we try to gear more toward French language and culture, and so we teach fencing. And we do a French cooking class in the morning. Probably one of our most popular classes is the, the French cooking class. Uh, you figure out recipes from French, translate them, and then make stuff either for just your class or it depends on the day for the whole camp for snack or something. The afternoon is kayaking, fencing, art, pool, um, sailing. I like kayaking and canoeing and swimming. Nice and cool, but it's fun. Uh, we get to jump in, off the dock into the water and swim around. And that's fun to do that. We need somebody very fast. My favorite is capture the flag. Yeah, yeah, I like capture the flag. I uh, also like capture the flag because it's a game in which we run all around the island with kids, counselors, and it's very fun. They have basketball, they have food, they have, they have everything I need. The food here is just terrific. It's awesome. I eat so much better here than I do at home. It's like eating out for every meal because you have like so many different things you can choose from. It doesn't matter whether you're like a vegetarian or what you eat. All our campers arrive on Orcas Island, which is one of the three large islands in the San Juans. It's ferry served and we load the campers into our uh, 15 passenger boat, the ferry queen. And we wave goodbye to the parents, leave all that behind. And so they and their luggage take about a 15 minute boat ride uh, over to Canoe Island. Here on Canoe, I think that we are very lucky because we have on, almost only 30 kids and we are 12 cancers. And I think they are very lucky, you know, because. There are a lot of cancers for only a few of them. We're able to provide a safer experience for children simply by virtue of our ratio of staff to campers. Our overall ratio is about two to one, two campers to one staff member. And the staff is great. There's a full-time nurse on staff and the people that are running it have been running it for many, many years. And my children in the years they've been here have uh, had nothing but fun and good experiences. The first day is orientation. As soon as they get here, they go through a swimming test. We make sure that they can swim. If they can't, sometimes we have WSI people that can teach swimming. Um, we also do a kayaking training and canoe training during the swimming test where the kids get in the canoe and the kayaks tip them over, see how to get back in, to see also, to see that they don't sink. Because I think that's the main concern is that they think that the kayak's gonna sink. I like to think of my camp as having 
an invisible structure. And that means that there's this safety net around and there's this structure to the schedule and the activities and everything we do, but it doesn't uh, interfere. They just feel like they can run and play and <laughs> learn French and sing songs and learn new skills. And if we're all doing our job right, they're not aware of the, all that safety net and all that scheduling that goes into it to make it possible. Mostly it's just fun activities and nice people and stuff. It's basically like a big family here and you don't really ever <laughs> miss what's home until the only thing you'll miss is being here. And I really like this and I have really busy summers so I have to convince my parents that I really want to come here and I'll make time to come to this camp. The whole year that I was in Spain, I was all the time saying, okay, I, I just need 254 more days to come back to here. All going all through the school, on the class saying, come on, one more week and all that until I arrived to here. This place is just like, it means, it means a lot to me. It's like awesome. My favorite memory of Canoe Island would have to be at the end of one of the sessions. Seven of my friends and I, we slept on a rock on the east side of the island so we could see the sunrise in the morning. The friends here, you make here are friends for life mostly. And when I came up here, when I started heading up here, I just, I, I looked, I'm, I said, I'm going to love this. And so it's just, and there's lots of nice people. There's no other place like this one in the world. It's unique. <laughs>